Запрошуємо до слова. Now the floor is given to Colonel Andrei Lysenko, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesperson on ATO related issues. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. For well, the second day, we start our briefing with good news. During the last 24 hours, and the result of the military actions in the territory of anti-terror operation of the Donetsk and Lugansk oblasts, there were no casualties among Ukrainian servicemen. And in each sector, there is an increase of the number of shellings delivered by the illegal armed groups uh, that they live at uh, Ukrainian positions with the use of uh, mortars of different caliber that are banned by Minsk agreements. On the whole, the enemy launched 76 mines. And in prevailing majority of cases, Ukrainian forces returned adequate fire and uh, that uh, with the use of weapons that are not banned by Minsk agreements. Now about the sectors, the Lugansk sector, they recorded the biggest number of uh, enemy precision shellings with the use of mortars of different caliber. In the evening, Russian occupation forces delivered precision fire at the positions of uh, ATO near Nova Alexandrovka and Katerinivka. There, they launched four mines uh, with the use of uh, mortars of uh, 120 millimeter of caliber. Mortar shellings uh, of our servicemen with the use of 82 millimeter caliber happened near Nova Alexandrovka the uh, 14 mines were launched uh, and uh, near Troitska, uh, and uh, they launched 39 um, mines of 82 millimeter of caliber. Also, uh, near this, um, Ethel mentioned settlements and near Novozvanivka, Krimsk, and Papasna, the illegal armed groups delivered six uh, precision shellings of our positions with the use of APC weaponry, small arms, and mounted grenade launchers. Ukrainian forces, in the majority of cases, refrained from firing back at the provocations of the enemy using uh, allowed weapons only in those cases when uh, the actions of the mm, enemy posed threat to military personnel. But uh, the answer was always rigid. Uh, the Donetsk sector the Russian occupation forces 10 times shelled our positions, three times with the use of grenade launchers and small arms near Avdivka and Zaitseva, and also in the region of Kamenka, Verkhnya Taretsk, Shakhta Butivka, and Troitska. And near Avdivka, there were long shelling of the positions of Ukrainian armed forces from 4 till 11 p.m. The enemy delivered precision firing with the use of mortars of 120 millimeter of caliber launching 12 mines and also used weaponry of APC mounted grenade launchers and small arms. And uh, in uh, nearly all cases, Ukrainian forces uh, uh, provided rigid uh, firing with the use of mounted grenade launchers, large uh, caliber machine guns, and light small arms. In the Primorsky sector, legal armed groups delivered eight precision shellings of our detachments with the use of grenade launchers and machine guns, three times in the region of Pavlopil, twice near Gnutova, and also in the region of Vodyane, Marienka, and Novotroitska. And at that, the enemy launched two mines of 120 millimeter of caliber and five mines of 82 millimeter of caliber at Ukrainian defenders near um, Pavlopil positions. And uh, also uh, Ukrainian f servicemen returned fire adequately with the weapons that is not prohibited by Minsk agreements. On the whole, during the last 24 hours, uh, at, along the line of contact, uh, Russian occupation forces delivered 24 shellings of uh, positions of armed forces of Ukraine, including eight precision shellings. In the prevailing majority of cases, Ukrainian servicemen returned fire. According to information provided by the main intelligence department of MOD, commanders of occupation forces try to maximally include instructors. These are regular servicemen of armed forces uh, of Russian Federation uh, in the uh, battle actions of uh, in the framework of detachment of uh, first and second army corps. Uh, uh, this is done in order to prevent decrease of battle readiness of units and detachments of the occupation forces in the uh, territories of occupied parts of Donetsk and Lugansk uh, oblasts. And uh, the terms of rotation of uh, Russian servicemen is uh, two times less than uh, those who serve uh, in the frontline 
detachments and monetary pay is four times bigger and higher. And uh, groups of joint center of civil and military cooperation Lugansk uh, provided uh, detachments uh, uh, of the armed forces of Ukraine with humanitarian help, uh, uh, juice, uh, um, oranges and uh, uh, lemons and uh, biscuits. And uh, these products are good in uh, uh, cold weather. Uh, so a group uh, of civil and uh, military cooperation Starobilsk provided humanitarian help to disabled of Starobilsk region. These are food products of uh, 50 uh, kilograms. Group of civil and military cooperation of DFK delivered uh, to Rozevka um, residents and uh, Novoklinivka and Keramik uh, residents and servicemen of uh, um, uh, armed forces of Ukraine a tape uh, to, uh, for uh, protection of uh, f their houses and trench shelters. and. Uh, the group of civil and military cooperation, uh, Marienka, provided uh, some uh, um, literature to uh, school number five in Krasnogorevka and Lugansk. Uh, um, representatives of group of civil and military cooperation discussed uh, with the director the problems that the school faces and the ways how to resolve them. And group of joint center of uh, civil and military cooperation, uh, Kramatorsk, provided help to uh, school in Arlivka and uh, um, provided school children with uh, stationery and uh, art kits and also patriotic uh, symbolics. Thank you. So thank you for your attention.